Hey, welcome to WPJM 800 AM. This is Wartime Radio. My name is Officer Yuwana Thun, and on my left, Officer Kalaya. Let's go. And on my right, Officer Aton. Hey, the frontline soldiers are ready to go to war for you. Today's topic is going to be: Are you the child of God, or are you the devil? We'll find out there's a lot of whole lot of devils, whole lot of devils out there. It's a whole lot surely, of surely, surely they're gonna say I'm a child of God. Surely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well let's do what the Bible say. Find Give out. me Second Corinthians thirteen and five. Second Corinthians chapter thirteen verse five. Bring it out. Examine yourselves. The Bible is telling you to examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith. Whether you're in the faith. So we gotta find out if we're actually following. The uh, Bible. Are we following the words of God? Read. Prove your own self. Prove what? Prove your own self. Hey, you got to be able to prove yourself that you are following God's laws and commandments. Read. Know ye not your own selves, mm-hmm. how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates? Unless, except you be what? Except ye be reprobates. Hey, hey, hey. Reprobates, that's not a regular Negro word. Right, right. You know, you never, you never heard so that. So we gotta we never, gotta find out what that means. Never heard that. So in let's Christian get the, let's get the definition while you read that. Then we'll jump back over. Let you you got it? Reprobate uh-huh. from dictionary.com. Noun uh, definition one, a depraved, unprincipled, or wicked person. It said a depraved, unprincipled, wicked person. Read on. What's give me another one? Definition two. A person rejected by God and beyond hope of Uh-oh. salvation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like, like I was just said, what, what's the third? Read, Let me read, get hold on, th- read that one more time. <laughs> a person rejected by God and beyond hope of salvation. Beyond hope. So a person can be rejected by God, but let's read the third one. Adjective. Morally depraved. You have no moral, no laws about yourself. You right. stand for nothing. Mm. Read that again. Morally depraved. Uh-huh. Unprincipled. Uh-huh. Bad. That's what reprobate means. You have no laws that you live by, which means you have no judgment. You are void of judgment. You know what the problem is? They they think they got laws because they, they I don't run stoplights and I pay taxes. But these are they 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 they, 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 are, they will follow these laws that are set up in society. But when you give them a law out of the scriptures. Can't nobody do that. No, you can't keep all them laws. <laughs> you cannot keep all them laws. That's, that's, that's what they come, say. And you, a whole spew of misunderstanding falls out. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's get into the Bible to find out if we are children of God or we are the devil. Because I know it's a lot of listeners that say, you brothers are the devil. I don't mm-hmm. know what y'all be talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm. All we do is stay in the Bible. Well, listen. You you got a script you can yeah. go to right now. Oh, I, what you I, got? I, shoot, hey, we're gonna go First John four. Let's get him. Gonna, gonna go ahead and just read want, about it. You want to box real quick? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd Start. Mayweather with the punch. Might as well. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Uh, verse one. The book of First John chapter four verse one. Bring it out. Beloved, believe not every spirit, mm-hmm. but try the spirits. Whether they are of God. So it said for us not to believe. So as a people, we must not believe everything and everybody it says try them of the try them by the word of God. So we got to try them by the laws of God in the Bible. So you, so you can't believe grandma. No. 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 You, look, you can love her. You better not believe grandma. Grandma, <laughs> grandma all jacked up. <laughs> you can love her. Black Christian. <laughs> you know, but hey, she might not be telling you the truth either. Mm. Read on. Because 
Many false prophets are going out into the world. So there are many false prophets. These are children of the devil. These false prophets are children of the devil. Let's see how do we identify them, Reed. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Uh -huh. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. So those that know the description of Christ and what he looked like and what he taught, those are the people of God. Those are the children of God. Read on. Hold on. Yeah. What about the ones that say color don't matter? Uh oh, we think read them right now. Oh, bring it out. Read. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. It don't matter, like Officer just said. Is not of God. That's what the Bible says. They are the children of Satan. Hey, that, that's heavy. That's what you just read. Hey, you got something you're going to bring hey, up? Who's going to finish oh, that? If it's going to give them a name. Get, read. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Hmm. Mm. Yet and still, people will say they for you know they walk around thinking that the Antichrist is gonna rise up out of the ocean, all mm -hmm. the fairy tale stuff. When they themselves walking around the Antichrist. That's it. Read. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, uh -huh. and even now already is it in the world. He said it's already here. Already. Woo! Because you know why? There's many antichrists. That's there are it. many people who are against what Christ stood for. That's right. And what he did. And they don't realize it. Hey, let's go to 1 John chapter 3, verse 10. The book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 10. Now start at verse 7. Verse 7. Bring it out. Little children, let no man deceive you. Uh huh. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. But, uh, you know, I always hear... That the people that go to church are righteous and the people in the streets are unrighteous. Read. Even as he is righteous. We got to find out what righteousness is. Mm -hmm. So, because, yeah. um, you know, I got many people in my family go to church their whole life. Yeah. My, I, my, one of my aunts told me, she said, I've been going to church 45 years. Where did you hear all this from? <laughs> I said, I read it in the Bible. <laughs> hey, that's the key word. <laughs> I read it. Right. Hey, that's, that's somebody illegal. just told it to me. Right. We read it. Read. Deuteronomy chapter six verse twenty five. Read it out. And it shall be our righteousness uh -huh. if we observe to do all these commandments. So our righteousness is to do all the commandments. That's what our righteousness is to observe right. to do all the look, commandments. That's what you just read. Right. That's what you just read. <laughs> so go back, cause I got I want to get some understanding in that verse again. The book of First John, chapter 3, verse 7. Uh -huh. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. So he that do the commandments is righteous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even as he is righteous. Jump down to verse 10. Verse 10. In this, the children of God are manifest, uh -huh. and the children of the devil. Read. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. So whoever don't do the commandments. Is not of God. They are the what? Of the devil. Three. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Because if you're not keeping the commandments, how can you love your brother? And, and this is what's crazy is this is the love right here. The love is actually going into the word of God and showing our people like, look, this is how you know whether you are of God or whether you are of the devil. Hey, All right. Read verse eight. Book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. He that committed sin is of the devil. He, he that commits sin is of the what? Is of the devil. You got to stay away from people that say we all sinners, brother. We mm -hmm. all might commit sin, but we all don't want to live in sin. The key is to repent from your sin. To turn That's away from right. it. Not to live in it. Not to bask in it. Not to keep coming to church every single Sunday, still committing the same sin. Right. You are a sinner. Read that again. He that committed sin is of the devil. Uh huh. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. Read. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, uh -huh. that he might destroy the works of the devil. So Christ was brought here to destroy the works of the devil. And guess what? The works of the devil is all around us. And we don't understand that. We are walking every single day and cannot recognize what the works of the devil is because we don't know what sin is. We first must understand what sin is. Read verse 4. The 
the book of first John chapter three, verse four. Whosoever committeth sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. Whoever commits sin breaks God's law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of the law. Right. So how can we say that uh, we're walking in righteousness? That's the New Testament. By breaking. Oh, yeah, trust you gotta, me. You got to say that. You got to <laughs> let them know it's the New Testament. Because they looking right now saying they are reading in the Old Testament. Because the new t the law is done away with, brother. Hey, what's crazy is you can stay, you can stay just in First John and sh and show, and a person can can look at their own spirit as as chapter four is talking about about trying the spirits like you brought out and examine your own self like you brought out from the first one like from from uh, the first scripture that you pulled. You can stay right here in First John and examine yourself, but you know what? Our people don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. They just want to go to church and let pastor tell them a story about how they're going to enter into kingdom and then go home. Right. That don't make no sense. None whatsoever. It said, whoever commits sin transgresses also the law. Mm -hmm. For the sin is the transgression of the law. Now, if that's being the case, we must study this Bible to know the laws. That's it. We've got to study this Bible. We have to meditate in this Bible. This is a book of the law. And the pastor should be teaching that. Give me Malachi 2 and 7. That's the wisdom and knowledge that should be taught to our people in church. But somehow they missing the mark. You know how they you always know, say that. Oh, hey, you know that's a saying now. Good. <laughs> they say they... Hey, matter of fact, is that, that is the sin definition is of right. Yes, that sin is. is missing the mark. <laughs> Come on, that now. Is. No, that, no. that's exactly they what we're missing on, the mark. Man. You be like, hey, what's sin? Missing the mark, <laughs> bro. Oh, they missed the mark. They missed the complete. The Bible from beginning to end is talking about the commandments, talking about the laws. The pastors should be giving them that knowledge. Read Malachi two and seven. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. Really? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips are supposed to keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So that knowledge that they should be seeking is the laws from his mouth. <laughs> and what are they actually hearing from the priest's mouth? Pastor, let you play around. Y'all know y'all got five dollars. We're gonna build this thing on the side of the right. church. They're hearing prosperity. They're hearing that it's gonna be all right. Dang. They ain't hearing, hey, you got to change. You can't come up in here being that sinner because God hates sinners. God hates sinners, and we got to face the fact that we have been a rebellious, sinful generation of people. You know, we was all uh, teaching this past weekend, and uh, it was a group of young brothers. You know, uh, the scriptures called them sodomites. Today's term, we called them, you know, how Fred, Fred Sample used to shake their hand. Yeah, you know, the LBGT. Yeah, that's what we call them. Thank you. Cause H, I, I, we call H, them the, the LMNOP. H, yeah, LMNOP. Right. So the brother said, the first thing out of his mouth, this is how you know how people know what they're doing is evil. They know they're of the devil. First thing he say is, do y'all church accept gay people? That's the first thing he said. I said, that's a problem because that's why our people will gladly go to the church because they know pastor ain't going to correct that. Because if pastor, pastor know if he correct it, that's money that he's going to be missing from that collection plate. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to not deal with the sin. You are of the devil, pastor. You need to fix that. Right. So, <laughs> watch, go back to verse 8. Because like you said, hey, that person wanted to stay in his sin. Right. He wanted to know, can he be accepted? Right. Do, and can he do, does he have to change? Right. Does he have to change? And you know the Bible is all about change. It's all about repenting. Mm -hmm. So how can you stay the same and come to the Lord? Read that again, verse eight. The book of First John, chapter three, verse eight. Bring it out. He that committeth sin is of the devil. Mm -hmm. For hey, the go ahead. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. So you know that devil was sinning from the beginning, and he want to stay in his sin. And, you know, like I said, this whole thing is, are you of God or are you of the devil? We got to face the fact it's a lot of devils in these churches. It's a lot of devils behind these pulpits because they're not teaching God's laws. Right. So God got to bring it out. 
He got to make this word manifest in these last days. And our people are running from the true prophets of God. So so I, it was a statement you said earlier that I want to touch because it was like they're going to be like, yo, hey, well, well, y'all, y'all ain't all of us sinners. Right. That's, that's what they're going to run to. Right. We right. all right. fall short of the glory so of God. Now, we all sin. So let's get a script. Unlike what you said, we don't just bathe in that. We Once we see we did wrong, we stop and we fix it. Let me, let's get that in Proverbs 24 and 16. Let's get that. Just so everybody know, ain't nobody sitting up here talking about we all perfect or nothing exactly. like that. It's just when we get corrected, we fix it. Problem with our people is when they get corrected, they want to stay where they at and make an excuse for their sin. Right. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 16. Freedom. For a just man falleth seven times. A just man is a man that keeps God's laws. They will fall seven times. They'll fall. They'll make mistakes. Read. And riseth up again. And he'll do what? Riseth up again. They won't stay there. Read on. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. But he shall do what? Fall into mischief. A wicked person will fall into mischief, meaning it's going to be sin on top of sin on top of sin. And they're going to stay there and make all kinds of excuses for it. And then yet and still say they are children of God. Who does that? You know, a lot of times we uh, teach and people think that, hey, how long y'all been following the Bible? We used to be just like them. Let me tie this three in uh, verse three. We used to be just like them, but we heard our calling. We heard that, hey, you know what? Y'all brothers in sin. Y'all being wicked. And you know what? We want to get to the kingdom. So we wasn't too proud that we couldn't say, you know what? You're right. We said that. We had to admit that, you know what? We're wrong. We ain't righteous. Hey, we don't know God. Read. The book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 3. Freedom. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Right. Read. Disobedient. We were disobedient. We was breaking all the commandments. Read. Deceived. Uh-huh. Serving diverse lust and pleasure. We did those exact, exact same things that our people are doing right now. Read. Living in malice and uh-huh. envy. Living in malice and envy. Read. Hateful and hating one another. Because I'm going to tell you, we hate one another when we don't correct each other. Mm-hmm. This is the greatest love that our people can receive is the fact that, hey, it's people bold enough to get on the radio and tell you the truth. Right. Mm-hmm. And now people don't like the truth. They don't love the truth. And the truth of the matter is they don't love God. That's the truth. Because the truth of the matter is they are of the, the devil. devil. That's, right. That's right. Hey, give me first John 5 and 3. Because guess what? We said a strong statement. We said they don't love God. And as I know it's people out there right now saying, God know my heart. He loves me. I love him. He do know their heart. Mm-hmm. He know their heart, all right? And we're going to find out that that heart is of the devil. Of the devil. Mm. Well, that's hard. That's hard. Mm. Read. The book of First John, chapter 5, verse 3. For hey, this, start at verse 2. Verse 2. Bring it out. By this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God... And keep his commandments. Ooh. And what they say is, God is love. But you just heard. What did I just read? This is, <laughs> read it again. Yeah, read it again. Go read ahead. It I'm again. sorry. Read man. It the book of hey, First John, it chapter 5, verse 2. Bring it out. By this we know that we love the children of God. Wait, so you don't even love the people of God. Right. Without doing this. Read. When we love God and keep his commandments. So the only way you can even love God's people. Keep the commandments. Hey. So love thy neighbor. Keep the commandments. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Read. Keep the commandments. Verse three. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. It's not grievous. You know what? It shouldn't. Uh, it shouldn't make you grieve to sit there and say, they keep talking about these commandments. They keep talking about these laws. Nobody can do all these laws. Why I got to keep the Sabbath? I want to go out to the club on the Sabbath. Right. Why do I have to wear uh, a dress, brother? Why can't I wear my pants? Our people hate God's laws. That's the truth. Because if they love God, they would keep the commandments. Hey, I want to uh, I want to precept something before y'all leave that mm-hmm. uh, that script right there. Mm-hmm. Read, go, go back to uh, verse 2, John. 
First John chapter five verse two. Well, you said something heavy. You said that the people of you can't keeping the commandments is loving the the children of God, right? right. Read that again. By this we know that we love the children of God. Uh huh. When we love God uh -huh. and keep His commandments and keep the commandments. Now go to Matthew chapter. Oh, oh let me ask you. Let me ask you a quick question. Do we get love on the streets? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they get but, no love. No. But they say they're children of God. <laughs> but they don't love us. Look, I had a pastor, a a woman pastor, <laughs> come up to the camp last what last Sabbath, talking about she trying to sell some holy water. Bruh. Ah <laughs> uh, no. On the Sabbath, she's selling. Ah uh, no. Holy water. Your water ain't holy. That's an oxymoron. That don't go sell. together, man. Right. <laughs> and you're breaking the Sabbath trying to sell anything. Right. Come on, lady. <laughs> Come on now. Come hey. on now, dog. Hey, go ahead and fish it to me. Uh, so th this is in, in in reference to uh first John chapter what five and verse two, right? Mm -hmm. About the children of God. Read that, Matthew thirteen and verse thirty eight. Because that is a heavy thing. You cannot hate the children of God are you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. All right. You cannot have an issue that you don't want to deal with when it comes to your brother or your sister. You have to love them by saying, hey, you know what, brother or sister, this is what you're doing wrong according to God, and this is how we need to fix it. But let's read that. Matthew chapter 13, verse 38. The field is the world. So Christ, this is Christ talking. He said, the field is the world. The good seed. The what? The good seed. Seed. The good seed, huh? Are the children of the kingdom. Okay, so these are the, these are the children of God. These are the children of God. These are you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of God. Come on. But the tares but are who? the but the tares uh -huh. are the children of the wicked one. Now don't get it twisted. Those tares are 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 men and women that are of the children of Israel. They are of the that are of the devil. Why? Because they don't want to keep these laws, as pointed out in John uh, first John chapter five verse two and three. They don't want to keep these laws. They're tears. How are they tears? Because when we're telling you that you got to keep the Sabbath, you don't want to uh, come and fall into agreement with the keeping of the Sabbath. You don't want to keep Passover. You don't want to keep Pentecost that just passed. You don't want to follow the commandments, dr the dress code, the dietary laws. You're a tear. And you will be rooted up when, it come, when that time comes to make a separation between the children of the kingdom and those tears that are in the midst of them. Right. Hey, Give me 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. The book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. Bring it out. And hereby we do know that we know him. So the children of God, they know God. Read. If we keep his commandments. Because, you know, if we keep his commandments. <laughs> That's how we know God. Because if you do anything other than keeping the commandments, read. He that saith, I know him, uh -huh. and keepeth not his commandments, what? is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. And you know what? God said that cool and quick. He said, you are a liar in what? And the truth is not in him. He said, the truth ain't even in you, brother. They'll tell you they got the truth, though. They say they got the truth. They say they're a the child of God. They the devil. But God said they are liars. They, they are of the devil. They the devil. And you know what? Something about our people, God is constantly reminding us that we like to lie. Mm -hmm. I actually made a post that said we lie more to each other than the enemy lie to us. <laughs> because it ain't bad. Because you That's know what? Bad. Everybody I meet say, you know what? I believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Until you read them the Bible. Until they don't, they don't, then they don't believe it. Right. Brother, can't nobody do that? No, no, no. What they do is, what they do, they'll be like, yo, I believe the Bible. As soon as you read them a lot, that was written by the white man. Bruh. <laughs> all of a sudden, you, you, you believed in it before we read what we read. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, it go against what you want to do. Now, all of a sudden, it's written by everybody else. It's written by people that's all in, you know, they'll say uh, King James was, was, a, was a sodomite. Right. All of that, just to say, just, and all of a sudden they try to discredit the Bible, but they believed in it prior to the conversation right. beginning. I'm going to tell you something we do. When you correct them and give them a scripture to prove them wrong, yeah, that's that, you know, as many versions of the Bible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you, you got the version that's wrong. Right. <laughs> or the one that you used a black highlighter in. Right, yeah, you got the version that's wrong. I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> I don't know where you got that verse from, but you know, there's many versions of the Bible, so you know, I understand. Did you, did you finish that script? Yeah, we. I, I want to go to um, 
with the part where God says we are liars. Give me Isaiah 30 and 8. Bring it out. Because, you know, like I said, our people love to lie. They love to lie on the Lord. They love to lie on this Bible. They won't even just say, you know what, brother, I'm sorry, I was wrong. They won't mm-hmm. even say, you know what, I got to do better. They will argue, get mad, get pissed off because they hate correction. Mm-hmm. You are actually bringing them the word to heal their sickness, mm-hmm. that wickedness that's inside of them, and they want to hold on to it so much. Because why? Everything around them is wicked. Read. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book. So God is saying, hey, put this in a book. This is the Bible. This is the book. Read. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Uh Uh-huh. This is the time. Read. That this is a rebellious people. What are the so-called blacks, uh, Hispanics, and Native Americans? A rebellious people. They are what? Rebellious people. No, children of God. Rebellious people. People. Read. Lying children. What are they? Lying children. They are lying children. You know, lying children. Imagine your child lying to you. You can't whip that belt out quick enough to right. tie some tail up. Mm-hmm. Read. I'm telling you. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. What, what? Read that again. They don't want to hear what? Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. They don't want to hear about the commandments. They don't want to hear about the laws of God. Right. That's the children of God. You so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, you don't want to hear the law of the Lord. If you do, you know what? We're located in Columbia. Come on down and see us, and we'll know that you are a child of God. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Read verse yeah, 1. Was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Read verse 1. You want, you, want to, you want to deal with it? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Read verse 1. Book of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Bring it out. Whoa. To the rebellious children. What did the Lord say? Woe to the rebellious children. Say Woe the means Lord. destruction to you rebellious children. Come on. Say the Lord uh-huh. that take counsel, but not of me. So who they taking counsel from? Whoa. The pastor? They taking, who he taking counsel from? Himself. And who put that in him? The devil. The devil. <laughs> <laughs> he said, woe unto you rebellious children, thus said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Read. And that cover with the covering. How are you covering with the co- You're already in the midst of darkness, in the midst of sin, but you want to cover that up. Read. But not of my spirit. It ain't of the spirit of the Lord. Read. That they may add sin. Do what? That they may add sin uh-huh. to sin. That's that covering. You're already in the midst of fornication. Now you're committing adultery. You're, you're committing, uh, you're stealing from the church. You're doing all type of, all, all type and, of wickedness and then they going got, on. And then they got to lie about it. And then they so lie they about it. Caught. Like, all of that is sin. That's you covering a covering to add sin into sin. This is a heavy chapter, man. Hey, y'all need to, you really need to dig into that thing. Right. Yeah, you can go back, go back down to 10. Go to 10. Because this is what our people really, this is what they tell us. Yet and still they'll say they love God, but this is what they'll say. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10. Bring it out. Which say to the seers. The seers are the prophets, the teachers, read. Mm-hmm. See not. Look, look, don't point out my sin. Close your eyes on my sin. Don't look at it. Don't say nothing. That's why everybody go to Sunday church. Hey, hey, hey. matter of fact, they say this right here. Hey, don't tell me what the books say. Tell me what, what you, you say. Right, right. right. They right. don't want to hear what God <laughs> said. They want to hear everybody else's opinion because you can't argue with God. Read on. And to the prophets, mm. prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell me to correct myself. Don't don't correct me to make me be a better person, to make me become that child of God. Nope, don't do that. Do this. Read. Speak unto us smooth things. How the, how the pastor be doing, Rita? Hey, come on now, Mr. Marshall. How they be doing? <sighs> That's what they want here, right there. The growling and all that nonsense in, in the church. Lord. The they Lord wanna, said, uh, uh, "Bring me your offering uh, to the storehouse." Uh, come on with that. Hey, now. they want it to sound smooth. Read on. Prophesy deceit. Lie to me. That's <laughs> right. How will people literally want the lies? I see prosperity in your future, bro. They, and they'll take it yet and still. You in the projects every year, every day, all day. What are we prospering from? The grandma sitting up at the front holding her purse real close to her like this with her last little $300 in it for her light bill. And he talk her smooth out of that 300 She don't put $20. She, 
She shouldn't be putting nothing but a head of lettuce, a head of lettuce <laughs> in there. But she put the whole three hundred and say, "I'ma pray to the Lord, my light bill get get, get paid." Yeah, <laughs> your light get turned off. You call and ask the church for some help. They say, "Oh no, but we can't help." Who does that? <laughs> hey, with that, hey, we're gonna take a break. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, we identifying who are the sons of God and the sons of the devil. Hey, so so look, so we finna start getting into identifying the difference between the two. Let's uh, hey, let's uncover it. Let's take the mask off. All right, let's get let's get one. First Corinthians six and nine. Cause they've been trying to hide. <laughs> they've been trying to hide. Oh, but guess what? The prophets we can see. Right, they hiding good in front of them that are, are not spiritual. <laughs> The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. Uh-huh. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Let's read. Be not deceived, uh-huh. neither fornicate. So if you're in the midst of fornication, fornication, what's fornication? That is going into all your, all your uh, anything outside of having sex with your wife or a man and a woman that are married together. If you're doing anything, bestiality, uh, uh, Sodomites and things like that All of that that's all fornication You got your uncles if you're laying with your darn nieces And stuff like that Quit that darn crap What about boyfriend and girlfriend Boyfriend and girlfriend they All are, that they fornication are, They devil. are of the devil They are the children of the devil right now Read. Nor idolaters If you going to church worshiping the sun god On Sunday Read on Nor adulterers Uh huh. Adulterers read Nor Oh wait on wait you know, Pastor and Deacon got a problem with that one right there now. What, the what adulterers. Adulterers? Oh, yeah. They got a problem with Deacon. They, they sleeping with the whole congregation. Deacon sleeping with that new brother wife right now. You see it. You see it. We see it. Cold-blooded. So then it say, what's the next one? Nor effeminate. So you men, it is a sin for you to walk around here acting like women. <laughs> Understand that thing. Don't be having them women tendencies and stuff like that. Tight, skinny jeans. That's effeminate. Oh, yeah, that's effeminate. <laughs> With a belt on. What the hell is wrong with, with, with you? With a belt on, like the like the pants gonna with, fall. With your pants hanging, <laughs> with your pants hanging halfway off your butt. I'm telling you, that's effeminate. That's effeminate. Read on. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That is for the sodomites. Those Homosexuals. Are, those are the people that are going around man with man, woman with woman. It says you are abusing yourself. So the L B G T Q. R P S W Z the alphabet gang. H I J K L M N. They are the children of the devil. Children of the devil. Read on. Oh. <laughs> North thieves. Hey, look, that, we got that going on all in our communities. People are stealing from each other. Pastors stealing from the community, but our people robbing each other too. Read on. Nor covetous. Nor covetous. Wanting things that don't belong to you. Read on. Nor drunkard. Shoot, that's every darn weekend. Shoot, some people wake up in the morning like that. So wake if up. you got to have a bottle early, in the morning, hey, they wake up drunk. Yeah. So the hell? <laughs> hey, some people never stop being drunk. Man, hey, or or those of you that are man that are into drugs and things like that, hey, you're not sober. Right here it says don't be drunkards. Read on. Nor revilers. Nor revilers, uh huh. Nor extortioners. Extortioners. That's shoot. That ain't that what drug dealers do? Oh yeah. Extorting people of their money. Read. Right. Same thing like Christian pastors. Why y'all y'all ain't no different. Read. Nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Says these people will not get the kingdom of God. So every one of these are the children of the devil. That's exactly right. But read on, because like like we said before, we don't want to get it. Y'all don't get it twisted. We understand what y'all are coming out of, because we used to be in them. Read. And such were some of you. Like like the Bible just said, some of us was in some of those things. Some of us was drug dealers, gangbangers, whoremongers, sleeping around. We was dead in it. We was right there in the midst of it once we but what happened, read. But ye are washed, 
but ye are sanctified. Now we've been cleansed with the word of God, read. But ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus uh -huh. and by the spirit of our God. So now that we have repented and come up out of those things, now we are keeping the commandments and the word of God has cleansed us up of those sins that we went and missed in. And that's what all of y'all got to do. And that's all we're trying to say. Our people must repent. Right. Give me uh first. No, give me uh, John 5 and 46. The book of John, chapter 5, verse 46. Freedom. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. So, hey, them laws that Moses wrote, if you had believed that, you would have believed Christ. Read. For he wrote of me. He did what? He wrote of me. He wrote of Christ. That's right. We got to come back to these laws that you think are done away with. Give me uh, Baruch, chapter uh, 4, verse 28. Freedom. We don't went away from God's laws. We started following the ways of man and don't know that man has deceived us into sinning. And we're going to prove that. We're going to show you that history of our enemies taking away our faith, our religion, our God, and giving us theirs. Read. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, uh -huh. so being returned, seek him ten times more. Seek him what? Seek him ten times more. Hey, don't just blow us off. Take right. the time to go into these scriptures and start reading. I hope you're writing these scriptures down. I hope you're taking the time to listen and let that pride go out. Because God said you're a stiff-necked, rebellious people. And if you want the kingdom, hey, that pride got to go. It probably got to go. Hey, we want to go into history and show you where our nationality was taken from us. Give me um, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 1. The book of 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian. For y'all that don't know, this is giving you the history of Alexander the Greek. Right here in what we call the Apocrypha, which was part of the original King James Bible. And Read. most of you may call him Alexander the Great, but he's not that great. Right. He's Alexander the Greek. Read. Who came out of the land of Chetum, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians, uh -huh. and Medes, that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. So this is, Alexander the Greek is the person who put the Greeks in power. Read. Verse 2, and made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth. So this Edomite, or you so-called white man, he started conquering the whole earth. Read. And went through to the ends of the earth uh -huh. and took spoils of many nations. Read. In so much that the earth was quiet before him. So he, he subdued all the other nations. He conquered all the other nations. Read. Whereupon he was exalted, uh -huh. and his heart was lifted up, Read. and he gathered a mighty strong host, and ruled over countries, and nations, and kings, uh -huh. who became tributaries unto him. You know, all the other nations had to pay taxes to the so-called white man. Read. And after these things, he fell sick, and perceived that he should die. Read. Wherefore he called his servants, such as were honorable, and had been brought up with him, from his youth, uh -huh. and part of his kingdom among them, Read. while he was yet alive. So Alexander reigned twelve years, and then died. Uh -huh. And his servants bear rule, every one in his place. So his servants bear rule. So his servants became kings. Uh, let me see. You might want to jump down to. Uh, well, actually, yeah, verse jump 21. down to forty. You can either go to forty-one. Yeah, jump to for, verse forty-one. Mm -hmm. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 41. Bring it out. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. This is one of these wicked kings. Read. That all should be one people. That all should be what? One people. So he said everybody should be one people. That's democracy. Right. They should all become Greeks. Read. And everyone should leave his laws. Uh huh. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. So all the other nations, they agreed to it. Read. Yea, many also of the Israelites. So many of the Israelites consented to do what? Consented to his religion. To his what? 
to his religion. So when all the people became one, Greeks, or just like we've became one, Americans, we consented to his religion. And guess what their religion consists of? Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, 4th of mm-hmm. July. These are customs of our enemies. These are not customs that's in the Bible. Right. And God told us about these customs. I'm glad to read on down. Oh, keep read reading. Read. read. <laughs> Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion uh-huh. and sacrificed unto idols. They did what? Sacrificed unto idols. Like they still do today. Right. Read. And profane the Sabbath. Like we still do today. Still because the it. Sabbath is Saturday, not Sunday. Right. We're still profaning God's Sabbath. Read. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Guess what? These strange laws today are, Mm -hmm. like you say, Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Sunday worship. These are now strange laws. These are not things written in the Bible. Read. And forbid burnt offerings Uh and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbaths and the festival days. Now our people have no clue about the festival days of God. Nope. They don't know anything about Passover. But guess what? They know Juneteenth is coming. Right. Yeah. They know that dummy. That Juneteenth. What the hell is that? How are you celebrating freedom? Right. What 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 are you celebrating? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, continue reading. Verse 46. And pollute the sanctuary and holy people. Uh-huh. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols. Those are your churches. Right. Those are your churches, just so you don't get it confused. That is in the Bible. Now that's your first material? Your Methodists, your Pentecostals, that's all of those. That's why you got two of them right across the street from each other. Yep. Right. Read. And sacrifice swine's flesh. Swine Uh-oh. flesh. Uh-oh. You know, something that's an abomination to God. Read. And unclean beasts. Uh-huh. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised. And do what? And make their souls abominable. With all manner of uncleanness and profanation. Uh huh. To the end, they might forget the law. That they might do what? Forget the law. Uh huh. And change all the ordinances. Ain't that what happened? And that's exactly what happened. Our people have forgotten the law. Right. They don't have a clue about God's laws and ordinances. Nope. The same thing, you know, what your pastor's supposed to be teaching, but he since he didn't teach you, guess what? You want to sit there and stay unlearned. Mm-hmm. Read. To the, excuse me, verse 50. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. He should what? He should die. What's your name? Toby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And you know, the way they kill our people today is just, it's a it's crazy. And our people, it's not a, a physical death that they slay them by right now. Like this morning, I'm watching the, the response to Monique with the hair covering thing, right? Even though the sister don't got that much understanding about the scriptures and how we should live, she's trying to correct the younger sisters, and they're still trying to throw stones at her for the correction. Yeah. But she says something in that in that video. When you get a chance, look at it. It's at 15 minutes and 20 seconds. She said that what Tyler Perry, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, um, and a couple of Steve Harvey, what they are doing is destroying our community. But she would not stand for that. She's like, I know these people, and I know what they're doing on the on the other side of the microphone. Right. She yeah. understands what they're doing. And what they're doing is accepting what we're reading right, right. here. Because they're they're pushing the agenda they're pushing this of agenda. the enemy exactly. against us. Exactly. Exactly. And this is what we got to understand. That our today the the way that we are being put to death, the way that we are saying, read that bottom of that precept again. Read that last precept, verse fifty again. First Maccabees chapter one verse fifty. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king. So this is what they're doing today. If you do not want to follow mm-hmm. what we have laid out in this industry, where we're paying you millions of dollars, if you don't want to follow the commandments of the king that set you up in th- in this particular realm, read on. He said he should die. We're going to take all your shows from you. We're going to take all your money from you. They're going to freeze all the right. bank accounts. We're going to freeze all your bank accounts. That is what they're doing. And it's, it's trickling that what they're pushing on the other side is trickling down to our youth and destroying our community. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, officer. Hey, what, you, what are you saying? Read that again. Read it again. 
and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king. If you don't want to follow the laws in America, if you don't want to follow the customs that we put in place, he said he should die. We're going to fire you from your job. We're going to take your income. We're going to make your life a living hell. Right. That's what they're doing today. That's why so many entertainers, so many of your leaders will not stand up because they done sold out. They done gave up. And guess what? You got true warriors, true soldiers who will stand up and you know what? And give their life to teach you this truth. Right. That's right. You no, know, we 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 are vessels of the of the real leaders for our community, but they don't they see this as hatred. They see this as hatred. But you that's because you are carnal, like Paul was saying. You don't you don't you're not a spiritual person. You don't see the spiritual aspects of what's being done to us at a higher level and what we're showing you according to the word of God. We got to come out of that. Thank you, man. Got to come out of that. Hey, mm-hmm. give me uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Because like I say, hey, for you to serve God, you got to get fit for the battle. And I'm going to tell you, how are you going to get fit for the battle? How are you going to put on the whole armor of God and you don't even know the laws of God? Message. Them laws of God is your wisdom. That's your knowledge. That's your protection. And you got to come back to them laws for you can have this protection because he set your enemy up. And the only thing that's going to bring down the enemy is the word of God. That's right. Read the book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse three. Read it out. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So all you men and brothers and sisters out there that's keeping God's law, endure, endure, because we know that they're coming at you. We understand the battle that's in front of us. Read. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. So, hey, don't get caught up in these streets. Don't backslide. When you come to serve the Lord, be ready to endure all things. Read. That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. So the Most High has chosen you to be a soldier. He chosen you to be on the front lines and fighting for his people. So, hey, we got to come back. We got to start standing up like men and women. Right. And that's and that's what we and that's all we're saying. So, family, as y'all listen to this, listen to the scriptures come out. Don't take offense to what we're saying. Actually, listen. To, look, we're reading this out of the Bible. Stuff y'all have never heard. So like like the like the title is about. We're trying to figure out who's the son of God and the children of the devil. So let's find out. Let's go. Let's go over here to Galatians four. Let's go to Galatians four and uh, let's do four and five. Verse four and five. Because, listen, this is how we are all able to come back to be called sons of God. Right. Read that. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 5. Read it out. To redeem them that were under verse the four, law. Verse 4. Jump up to 4. Verse 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, uh-huh. God sent forth his son, uh-huh. made of a woman. He's talking about Jesus Christ. Read. Made under the law. And it says made under the law, which also, when you read that made under the law, it's nowhere in the law that Christ was going to be made immaculately. Right. He had to come and he had to be born of a, he had a father and a mother, Joseph and Mary. He ain't magically up here. No. And that's why in the people that think that or teach that, like we read earlier, y'all are literally the antichrist because you're saying Christ didn't come in the flesh. Read on. To redeem them that were under the law. To redeem who? Them that were under the law. The only people that can be redeemed is the Israelites. And that's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We that's are the Israelites. Right. Read on. That we might receive the adoption of sons. That we might what? Receive the adoption of sons. So because of our sins, God put us, cast us off and put us in slavery. And then he sent his son so that we would be able to come back to him and repent and be called sons and daughters of God. That's why Christ was sent in the first place. Hey, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Hey, we got to understand that, hey, we are the children of the Most High God. And that is a honor to be called the children of God. Hey, you can't be the child of God and walking around acting like the devil. You can't be the child of God and don't even want your name. You are, you are the Israelites. Right. You are the sons of the Most High God. You are the prince of the power. You got to be proud of that name. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people. God says you are a holy people. He separated you from all people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh Uh-huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. He chose you to be special. Imagine of all the millions of people that's on this earth today. 
and God said, hey, you, mm -hmm. I want you. He said, I want you. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. Mm -hmm. Above all people uh -oh. that are upon the face of the earth. He chose you above all people upon the face of the earth. So there's no equality with God? None whatsoever. Be mad at that. <laughs> because the most high chose you. And you know what? He chose you to be his child. You know, they get they still get mad at that though. But that ain't right. Mm -hmm. But that ain't but what that why Christ came and he didn't Christ say that we are all one in Jesus? What? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you something. You know, um, a lot of us are proud of our slave names, you know, Smith Williams, they be like, Hey, that's Mr. James right there, son, you know, and you gotta uphold that name. Well, we're the sons of the living God. Right. How are we going to walk around and be degenerate? How are we going to walk around with our pants sagging behind our butt? We're going to walk around and be whoremongers. Our women going to walk around and be thoughts. You are the daughters of Sarah. That's what they want to, because that's what they've learned, they love, and that's what they want to be. You start telling them, look, God is righteousness, and you have to change your wicked ways. If you think you're going to just live on this earth and then go tell God why you didn't keep the commandments, you're a fool. You better shut your black you are Christian a mouth. Fool. And our people, they want they want to bash in that in that foolishness. They want to they 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 live for that. Right. Right. And look, look, like officer just said, like how are we going to be the sons of God and not honor him? Look, that was a question that was asked. Get that in Malachi chapter mm -hmm. 1 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. Get it in Malachi 1 and 6. Let's get that thing. Because our people, we definitely, look, we want to honor all our slave names and everything like that. Look, right. look matter of fact, <laughs> my last name is Israel. All so, praises. You know, uh, <laughs> we're going to leave that right there. All praises. Read on. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 6. A son honoreth his father, uh -huh. and a servant his master. So a son, like, like officer just said, a son will honor his father. Read. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? Where is God's honor? Right. Since he's our father, where is his honor? Read. And if I be a master, where is my fear? Because he's our master. But we walk around not fearing the judgments of going against his laws and think everything's all good. And we, and our people are saying they are literally the children of the devil and then thinking that everything's all good. And he's like, why you don't you don't even fear that when all this is said and done, you're going to know all this by pain after you die. Right. Read on. Saith the Lord of hosts. Saith who? The Lord of hosts. That's just to let you know this God speaking. Read on. Unto you, O priest that despise my name. Uh -huh. And ye say, wherein have we despised? And then our people would despise God's name and, and mess up. And look, we, just, we the people of God and the nations looking at us, shaking their head at us like that is terrible. Look how far they have fallen. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. hey, that, that's heavy right there, though. Hey. You know, I was looking for that script for a while. I appreciate that. Oh, praises. <laughs> hey, give me uh, uh, 3 John chapter, I mean, verse 4. Bring it out. Hey, we got to come back to the Most High God. We got to come back to the righteousness of the God's laws. We gotta That's become, right. We got to come back to our true heritage. We got to come back to being the sons of the living God. Right. Read. The book of 3 John, verse 4. Bring it out. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Read that again. Read it again. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Hey, he got to get the truth. Hey, we got to get, get the, the truth. truth. Cause yeah. we want to know what the truth is. We, we've been saying it all show. Right. Now we're going to show you what it is just so you don't get, go home and make up some fairy tale thought in your head. Right. Cause he said there is no greater joy than his children Walk in the truth. Right. Not walk after your pastor. Not walk after what you've been taught through uh, this society, mm -hmm. through this world. Right. But we got to find out what that truth is so we can walk in it. Right. right. Read. The book of Psalm, chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh-huh. And thy law is the truth. And thy what? Thy law is the truth. God's law is the truth. He has no greater joy than you walk in his laws, that you walk in righteousness. Right. This is your salvation. This is your shield. This is what's going to bring you out of captivity. This is what's going to deliver your people. 
So, hey, it is time. It's high time that we wake up out of our sleep. Right. That's right. You got anything else, man? Hey, man. I think this was a good show. I, I hope, I just pray that our people will uh, take heed and understand that this is love. This is love. I can guarantee you there's nobody else besides our platforms outside of what we're doing on the broadcast here today that is coming to our people, bringing the, bringing the broadcast into your homes so that you can sit in your house, open your King James Version Bible, and don't believe us. Believe the words of God. That is what you need to receive salvation. You need to repent and keep the commandments of God. Hey, we're located down in Columbia, 1823 Greg Street. Hey, today you found out that either you are a child of God or you are a child of the devil. So I expect to see the children of God come gather with his saints down here in Columbia, South Carolina next week. We'll see you. Hey, and with that, we like to say shalom. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.